Hello, and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Ah, it has been a long night, but now it's daytime. Well, it's 12am. Basically daytime. Okay. Right, we have some quests to do here in Morkroth. So, you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? I can also pickpocket. Impressive, isn't it? Abandoned house. Let's go in and do the bidding of the Daedra Lord. So, we can cook stuff here. Pheasant and bunnies. Right, I actually don't think we have a lot of things we can carry right now. Might as well see where this guy takes us. Oh, right, this way. So, gonna be fine. Oleg Powell, you think you can best Boethius faithful? I have won this contest before! Ah, but I have my own champion this time, Logroth. What? You? Mortal, I give you my mace in all its rusted spitefulness. Crush the spirit from Logroth's bones. Make him bend to me. Okay. I'm gonna use my sword because mine are better than yours. <laughs> you pray for this brain. Live pathetic bodies. Try it again. No more. No more. I submit, Molag Ball. I submit. You bend to me. You pledge your soul to me. Yes. You forsake the weak and pitiful Boethia. Yes. You're mine now, Logroth. Kill him. Um, okay. The mace of Molag Bal. I give you its true power, mortal. When your enemies lie broken and bloody before you, know that I will be watching. A mace. Truly a weapon no person could ever wield. Know your place, mortal. Or Molag Bal may just send another champion to claim his mace from your broken corpse. Now, I have a soul in oblivion to claim. Take care of the house while I'm gone. <laughs> of course I won't. So, I have a mace. Definitely never gonna use that. Now, let's first get rid of the Stolen Dagger. Ah, good enough. I think I'm gonna go to Winterhold. There, I'm going to train in the ways of destruction, and after which... I'm gonna level up, and then train again. Let's see if I have enough potions to make up for all the money we're gonna lose from that. Markroth. That mace. Get it away from me. Get it away. Man, that's how we shoot a mace. 
Just put it in your pocket. Most shops are open from about 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. But that is not always the case. Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. City of Markarth, sure as a b Where do you want to go? Right. Let's go to Winterhold. Climbing back and we'll be off. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts. There was an egg right behind the carriage. I should have picked that. Or maybe paid a little bit more attention. It doesn't matter. At least we know where it is now. Is this closed? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh. Ah. Okay. Doesn't matter then. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? All right, then. Okay, that's cool. During the night, it looks brighter somehow, doesn't it? This can be just me. Or maybe there is something else. I honestly do not know. You, sir. I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. Okay, I'm gonna talk to him later. I need to sell all the soul gems that are not grand. Or black. No, you're not the one I'm seeking. You're the guy with the illusions. Impressive. There you are. I like training in destruction. But I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. And let's level up. Magica? Sure. Let's see, we have destruction. Oh, uh, speaking of which, there was a restoration spell I wanted. Healing spells also restore stamina. Yeah, that's the one. Regeneration, healing spells, cure more. I mean, I can do that. Don't care about the wars. We're not using them anyway. Dual casting. Magical regenerates faster. Avoid death. Requires level nine. It requires nineteen restoration for that. It's gonna take a long time, and I'm not sure it's worth it. Expert. Okay, go with this. All spells are more effective against undead. That's nice. Anything from Rotoration that I wanted. I did believe that you had... Yes, absorb 30% of Magicka of any spell that hit you. Okay, only three more perks left. We already have that, so that's fine. Smithing. Maybe I should work on that as well. One-handed, it's fine. Backwards power attack has 25% chance of paralyzing a target. You know it's not worth it. I can't wait to see who succeeds. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. And I no longer have enough money for anything. So let's gain Spells some. and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Weapons. The blade of Haujamark. I'm not gonna use that. Ebony dagger, sure. Elven dagger. So this does 25 points of stamina damage and 25 points of magic damage. And if the target dies within 3 seconds, fills a soul gem. Well, after having its head bashed, no wonder. Stuff of frostbite. Do you have any destruction spells I could use? Chain Lightning. Let's 
Lightning Cloak. I like how that sounds. For 60 seconds, nearby opponents take 8 points of shock damage and have magic. Hmm. Chain Lightning. Well, I doubt we're ever gonna use that, but we're gonna purchase it anyway. I have no idea if I should sell this or not. Right, we have things to sell. You, 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 and you. Food? And books. Actually, no, books we are not gonna sell. Amethyst. Okay, bear pelts. Keep those. Petty so gems, greater so gems, lesser so gems, and more petty ones. And the plate. Okay, careful not to sell this. Not that I'm not gonna purchase it again, it's just... Careful not to sell it. Drought of water breeding. Okay, we definitely don't need you. Creatures and people up to level 8 will attack anything nearby for 10 seconds. Weak Poison, Solution of Strength, Solution of Enchanted Stamina. Okay, let's keep these potions. Potion of Stamina, Minor Stamina. Okay, let's start with selling all of you. There you go. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Let's keep on going. Let's not forget to learn the spell we just purchased. And Lightning Cloak. Oh, this one I definitely need to sell. And Vampire's Note. Well, nothing to do here anymore. Uh, let's see. Favorite stuff. Fire Boat. Paralysis. Storm Throw. Torch. Water Breeding. Okay. Wait, seriously? Well, we can use that. Let's test our skills, shall we? And we're kind of out of bones. Well, we're gonna get some more. Let's shoot the dragon. Oh yeah, he felt that, I'm sure. I shouldn't be that afraid of him. I mean, yes, he can probably kill me two hits, but no longer in one. Also, I have resistance to your flames. And I can heal a little bit more now. Not a bad decision to upgrade my restoration. Oh, is that where you landed? You're so gonna die, and I'm so gonna laugh. Aha, you missed. I'm not gonna miss. I have plenty of arrows. They are all imaginary, which means they will never disappear. What the? Yeah, 
and that was painful. Sorta. Archery level 50. Oh, I thought you were gonna land here. I was so ready to get you like a fish. Do dragons eat fish? I mean, I assume they do. What else would they do? Would they eat? Cannibal dragons. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah, keep doing that. He's doing such a magnificent job. Land already. I think I'm hitting him, but I'm not so certain. Land Dragon, I have need for new boots. And your scales are just what I need. Ah, uh, keep fighting him. Where's my throw? Did you kill it? Oh, that was incredibly rude of you. Um, heal? I mean, sure, you can say that he killed me there, but honestly, that wasn't fair. He was not even near me. Bloody hell, I so hate fighting dragons. Let's go for it again. Maybe he's too cowardly to show up now. Smithing 29. Restoration. Destruction. Yeah, we have what we need here. You know, let's just go. Apparently this dragon is too cowardly to fight me when I actually am ready for him. Can't believe that he actually killed me there. This is something you all should remember. All dragons are cowards. Hmm. Is that magic? Careful, please. What the? Dead hounds. A vampire master. Not very powerful now, is he? Fortune would have it, I can regenerate my stamina now with those po potions, not potions, with those spells that restore my health. Wait, where am I going? Windhelm. Okay, that sounds cool. Bring the hilt to Soilus. Anything else? Join the Imperial Legion. Okay. Well, let's go to White Helm.
I don't get it though. Ah, whatever. An Imperial? Sorry, why are you attacking me? Human flesh. Aversion to magic, a steel dagger. No notes to tell me why. Well, that's fine. I don't need to know. She's dead. That would send a clear message to all my enemies. Just leave the corpse on the ground. Is that an Imperial Guard? No, that's definitely a Stormcloak? Wait, Winter Cloak. I know you. Oh, shut up. You know nothing. Okay. Where exactly am I going? Stillborn Cave. Haven't been here before. I definitely don't need to go there. Hello, goats. Now let's turn right around. And take the road down. Crows. Goody. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be my win. Gotcha. Alrighty then. Let's continue onwards. For there is so much we need to do. The Palace of Kings. Still not ready to join them yet. I do believe I need to continue with the Dawn Guard quest one lines after this. We shall see. Indeed we shall. Yeah, keep on running. We have plenty of spells to increase my stamina. Now, something I didn't notice was, did that actually reinforce my stamina, the, the magicka, when they tossed a spell at me? And I'm talking about the dragon breathing fire on me. Which tickled, I have to admit. Hello, little kitty. Or a little pup, should I say. A nice wraith. Okay, I actually can't see him very well, so I'm gonna summon something to fight him.
Just finish him off. Don't have all day. Thank you. So what do we have in here? This is definitely the... Wait, what? Oh, that's my Storm Archery Elk. Okay. This is definitely the place we need to visit to complete a quest, I believe. Let's take a look. What quests do we have here? To plant Viola's ring. Easy enough. They say if a vampire so much as scratches you, you'll turn into one. That's better. It's a little bit more complicated than that. You have three days to cure yourself. Why three days? I don't know. That's how quickly the venom reaches your heart, I suppose. Right. What's the other one? I think it's the German storm quokes, something I'm probably not gonna do anyway. And this will be the next place we visit. Find the ring of pure mixture inside the Forsaken Cave. Now I could have gone there, whatever. Okay, follow the marker. That didn't scare me at all. Interesting. I just healed you. You should be very proud of me. Now, I'm not sure if healing only applies to allies. What's with Hold you? There. Keep your distance. Okay, what happened here? Another girl killed. This is Susanna from Candlehearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago, but I can't say I knew her. So this has happened before. You obviously are the best guards in the entire planet. Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl, killed at night, body torn up. I ask only for charity. Hmm, <laughs> sounds like the guards aren't doing their jobs. Look, there's a war going on, if you hadn't heard. We barely have enough soldiers to walk the streets, much less patrol every corner. Fine, I will help, but I do expect a reward. If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. Let me examine the body. Okay. Evidence, 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 evidence. Ooh, evidence. Always sad when someone has to die. Has to die? Did you see what happened here? Sorry. I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. Another one. Terrible. Did you see anything? I heard a scream and came running, but she was already like this when I got here. Thank you for your assistance. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. The gift of charity, what does that do? Now that I'll ever use it, I'm just curious. Resist magic. Resist a lot of magic. So we are actually resisting over 50% of magic, that's amazing. Nord Blood resists Frost 50%. You move quietly for 180 seconds. Honestly, don't know what that does. Oh, there we go. The Gift of Charity. Speechcraft is increased with 10 points. That's actually not bad. Wait. I know this is a shame. Do you know what happened? Uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. Come to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I Wait. I know you. Do you really? A 
All right then. I'm doing your job for you, and you're going to arrest me over nothing. Okay, let's do stuff. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here, I'm gonna pay you off my bounty. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying, then you're free to go. I ask only for a little charity. So, I've spoken to the witnesses. Wait, you're not gonna take me to- anyway. Just like always, nobody saw anything useful. The bastards escaped again. If there was more to this, I'll let you know. Look, friend, if you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. You'll need to talk to your life, though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be on official business. If he's willing, then we'll talk. No, I honestly don't need to talk to anyone. So... Of course we're gonna start following the blood, because... Obviously no one has thought to do that before. Okay, go up. Hear the news? There's a dragon roosting up on Mount Anthor, to the northwest. And I have to investigate that now. Ah. Okay, let's start with you. I'm gonna lose a lot of lockpicks, am I? Damn it. Damn it. Please stop doing that. Not good enough. Finally. I have a lot of lockpicks, so it doesn't matter if I fail a couple of times. So we need to plant a ring here. I'm shocked they didn't confiscate it. Okay, we need to tell the guy that Viola's ring has been returned. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess it's this one, but why? A little bit of blood here. Okay, that's proof enough. Let's enter. Gotcha. Quite quickly, in fact. I am rather surprised. So, what do we have here? Investigate meat. From the dust, these look leftovers from when the previous occupant moved out. A chest. From the marks on the floor, it looks like this box was pushed against the wall recently. Beware the butcher and the butcher's journal. We're gonna take a look at that in a moment. This perfectly good wardrobe was well left behind for some reason. And it has gold in it. I'm gonna take that as well. It's nailed to the wall. This altar is built to some unknown magic. It looks like someone is using body parts towards some gruesome end. Sounds good enough. Alrighty. And where to next? I guess that's it. 
The chair is stacked on the bed in a north fashion. Come on, climb. Excellent. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there's anything on here. That's what I would suspect, at least. Of course, I could have actually casted a spell. No one alive and no one dead. Such a pity, really. Right, let's read the evidence we found. Vampire's Note, The Mirror. Yep, The Mirror was a good book. Lost Legends, Lebanon Bridges, Fall from Glory, Essia's Journal, Daughter of Nibbon, The Butcher's Journal. The plants are coming together swimmingly. I found good source of bone, flesh and blood. But thus far, a good sampling of Sinel and Maru have escaped me. No matter, the city is swollen with contrapacious fools who will be missed by nobody. Last night was almost able to corner Sonsana. As she left gun fell off, idiot guard showed up at just the wrong moment and I had to run about. Just out of the straw and so forth, there will be another chance. But the time is drawing near. I think back to my times in Whitehold, winter. All the wasted mines up in their towers, they only explore the magic. They already know. I am discovering new magic here, something deeper than the can um, than the cantrips shenanigans of the fire and light. This flesh magic is older than us, perhaps older than the world itself. I am digging at the corners of the fabric of the universe. And where it butches the foes is where I shall create my greatest triumph. One more attempt at the candlelight girl. She is proving to be a bit too cautious, but those strong joints of her should contain the most exquisite tendons worth of the effort tonight. Oh. What else do we have? Beware the butcher. Beware the butcher, the killer who bounds the streets of White Helm. These calamitous times being on the worst of people, don't become the next victim. See Viola Giordano if you spot any suspicious behavior. Cool. Right, let's tell this guy that we have placed the ring back where it belongs. It should be good enough, I hope. Spare a coin for a poor old woman. Already dead once. Don't get cheeky. Alright. Going up. Hmm. Is this the place I need to visit? Let's continue down the hole. <clears throat> Pay no attention to the guy lockpicking stuff. The other way, I guess. The other way a little bit more. A little bit less. Bingo. Oh, he's asleep.
You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Every night, I walk around a grey quarter and let them greyskins know what I think of them. So, you hate dark elves? They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. You believe that the Dark Elves are Imperial spies? Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor Elves too. I bet they're working together. Maybe I should round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. Indeed. Watch out some grey skin doesn't pick your pocket. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for now, once, once I actually woke this guy up, the Dark Elf, I noticed his eyes, red and bloodied. Perhaps he too has a secret he wishes to share with all of us. Next stop. The Forsaken Cave. It's somewhere this way. Do I need a torch? I do have candlelight. There we go. Just keep following the path. That way it's brighter. Okay guys, keep fighting him. Dude, why so evil to the kitty? Definitely don't need the goat's legs, but whatever. What, another one? Fine. Is that a vampire? A night lore. And you're... Running. I mean, I guess you can keep running. You're not pretty. So she falls. Ow. Really? Very well then. Cure disease. Yeah, I can use that. A torch. The amulet of Standar. Trophy from all the people I've killed. Extreme alternation, not bad. Right. Just place the marker here. This way. Let's see if we're gonna find a bridge somewhere. Ooh, snowberries. Nice.
There's the bridge. Cool. Let's move on. Is this an inn? It's a mill. Okay. Just keep going. I see a chicken. There must be eggs here. There they are. Delicious breakfast, I'd say. Or ingredients, which will help me with my potions for... Resist magic, water breathing, damage magical regeneration, lingering damage stamina. Lingering damage stamina, that's good, because that's an expensive potion we can make. Right, we are very close to that cave, I believe. How close are we? Pretty close. Just keep moving. Hmm. No enemies inside, but I'm gonna cast this spell. I might need a better armor. Now in that case I will need to research some smithing. First to enchant my stuff and second to enchant things that can be enchanted with enchantments. Yeah. Sure. Enchant isn't the right word for it. I mean it is the armor I want to Sharpen? Don't think that's the right word. Nothing against sharp armor, I'm just not sure it's gonna be very comfortable. Okay, nightshades. Let's go inside that cave. Find out where this ring is. And use it for the betterment of myself. Bone mail, not bad. Ooh, a chest. Glass shield. Some healing potions. Don't care about the shield. Yeah, I don't care about the shield. In fact, I should take a look at that. Maybe I need to purchase a shield and upgrade it with some enchantments. Okay, stay there. Let's try again. There you go. Now that was easy. Hmm, an urn. It has some gold. And this one, it has a garnet and some gold. It was a flawless garnet, which means that it's more valuable than the gold. You can turn it down with the battle music. There is nothing here. Or don't, it doesn't matter that much. Okay. Just in case, we're gonna go with this and this. Excellent. Careful. It's a plate. I 
I actually have to learn some alternation spells. I, I totally forgot about that. Now that I'm a master level alternation er Ultimate Magica? Hide how much we don't need you. We don't need any of these stuffs, but whatever. So if I stand here. Hello. Oh, right. Sneak. Speech 90. Well, I think I have plus 20, and that's why, but that's a lot. Blocking two handed, one handed, where is sneak? There you go, 40. There's my backstab. Honed Ancient Nord Battle Axe. I mean, it can be sharpened. He tried. Definitely failed, though. What about you? Not that powerful. Real shame. Don't know why I picked the boots up, but whatever. Let's see, boots, these ones, no. They actually don't look that bad, for ancient boots, I mean. I'm gonna keep them for now. Aha! Surprise! Now there was a, a thing with blocking. Snake increased to 42. Where it allows you to run with a block on, which makes you faster when you sneak and block. What do we have here? The mirror. Well, we just read that book, so we are not gonna need it. Iron door. Perhaps one of my lockpicks will be able to deal with this obstacle. Damn it. There we go. Okay. It was a trap, I guess. Potion of stamina. Oh, goody. We have so many potions to sell. Maybe some more to create. But definitely a lot to sell. An ebony bow. That is an incredibly expensive bow. Might as well use it. For selling purposes. Dwarven greatsword. I don't care about that. It's heavy, you know. Unlike the ebony one. Okay. I knew you were evil. There's another one. Aim for his head. It's not even enchanted. Ooh, gold. Can I try to hit me? Surprise. Okay, and you have ebony arrows. I'm so glad you didn't hit me with one of those, that was gonna be painful. They've almost gained another level. This is astonishing. Oh no, fire. 
I mean, it's not magical. And I can resist fire. Hello. Don't shout, this guy's trying to sleep there. Oh. Okay. That worked. And now you die. An ebony great sword. Heavy and uncomfortable. If I can't carry it at some point, this is the first thing to go. Right. Can't believe you didn't wake up. Bonus for me, I guess. Not even close. What do we have here? Nothing, nothing silver. A lot of silver. Take it, we can use it to create stuff. To increase my smithing skills. Most likely rings. Okay then. And what have we here? Ooh, potion of health. And it's extreme. Iron ingot, okay. Sneak increase to level 45. Good. Good. Okay, come on. <laughs> nice. There should be some more here. I can sense their undead breath. It stinks. Okay, taking you, and you, and you. I have no idea why we have septums in these places, but whatever. There is supposed to be a ring nearby. Very slowly get out of there. Good, now. Very quickly I'll put you back in. Not bad, not bad at all. A flawless ruby. Nice, I like flawless. And rubies, I guess. So much silver. Right, keep on going. Careful not to fall. I see a shadow there. Wait. You're not even worth sneaking about. You're simply too weak. Even the restless one had some potential to survive the first hit.
Oh. Okay. That was a good trap. Sorta. I wanted to check how much health it's gonna take me, but apparently it works only once. And it failed. Whatever. There we go, and finally, invisible! Worth it. I was hoping for an ebony weapon. Even a dagger would have sufficed, in fact I prefer daggers. Do we gain the level? Yes. Give me some magicka. Ten gold, five gold, four gold. Next we'll have three gold, then one gold, and after that million gold. Alrighty. Okay, and let's see what we have here. Please, don't get out. At least not on my phone. And dead. Are you bowed that weak? One hit for you. There goes this one. Come on, where's the last one? Gonna keep hiding there. We can pathetic. So. And so I stand in front of a word of power. It can grant me any wish I want. Can I have the ring of mixture? That's why I'm here. Thank you. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, before that, there was this door right there. Lich Drain Vitality. The Forsaken Cave. Please, we know where you lead. I suppose we know where you lead. So what is this place? I do believe this stone will move at some point. But I cannot be certain. Not yet, but in time, fate will bring me here once again. Cool. And out we go. Please tell me it's daytime now. To Skyrim. Yep, it's day. We need to go to Dawnstar. To bring this and the hilt to this guy. Anything else? We have to tell Riven about Viola's golden ring. So many things to do. Okay, let's go to Windhelm first. Just uh, place a marker there so we know where we're going. Oh, 
Ah, perfect. We can't even see the marker. We have to be very careful not to miss it. Okay, four. Give me the mountains and the berries. Berries, yeah, berries. Oh, come on. There we go. And we move out. Alrighty. Wait. Oh, a troll. Simple. Just follow the road. Once we reach Windhelm, we'll be able to return to that guy and tell him, Hey, I broke into your house yesterday and you said nothing, so I demand more money now. But yes, of course I'm gonna steal something from him. Just keep following the road, it's all fine. Not a lot of old chemical ingredients here. I mean, the snowberries are obvious. Is that magic? Careful, please. No, it's not. There is the box. Talk to her tomorrow. Right. And as fortune would have it, I can cast a spell and raise my health for the love of. Time to kill some uh, um, red guards. I don't care. Leave me alone. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along quietly. Someone do something. And that, eh? You have curved swords. Huh? No worries. You don't need to thank me. Please don't kill me. All right. And we are off again. Okay, no goats, no stuff. The Khajiit. So many refuse. Take a look. I will. Do you have any grand soul gems? You have two. I mean, I don't need them, so that's cool. First and foremost, books. We do have. Wait, didn't I learn those? Apparently, I forgot. Don't need you, don't need you. 13 gold. Hit the jackpot with that. And that's it. May your road lead you to warm sands. So we are very close to the stables. Now, we are going to a store, so might as well keep some of the rings to myself. <sighs> Hello, guard. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut one. I don't enchant weapons. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Magic. Yes, I know. There is always cattle in the castle where the vampires live. You are not allowed in there. I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? Wait, what? If you're looking to get a drink, Candlehearth Hall's got warm fires and strong ale. 
Are you treated as badly as the Dark Elves? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. Good. Until next time. Near Nia's house, good. Need something? Wait, do you sell flowers? The dark elves. Are you here to pull Not much, tell us but I hope you like them. Of course I do. That can damage health. I can purchase 53 flower baskets. Cool. What can I sell to you? I don't know. Here's a goat hide. Goat horns. You have enough goat to purchase a golden ingot. Well, have fun. Alright. The response to Barrow's speech. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Careful. Don't want my hands to reach for my blade. Have you taken care of that little problem? What problem? Thank you, thank you. Azura's prophecy always guides you to fortune. Speaking of fortune, here. Everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. Oh wow. A thousand two hundred gold. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. The bag of friends. Frostbite. Wait, did I sell you those books? Okay, you can have this one. The Keepers of the Razor. I read this. It's not interesting. Radicus Rights. Okay. Alright, let's sell you. Can I keep the flawless ruby? It's a ruby. It looks nice. Okay then. And I have quite a lot of stuff I need to sell to you. Not the arrows. Ooh. Let me just point out that this thing right now can do 130 damage is not as expensive as this sword that's used for two hands and can do only 25 damage. How did we get to that level? Okay, let's sell these. And some potions. Malignant aversion to magic. Cool. Do come again. Wait, I can sleep in that bed. And I can take stuff. That's Good cool. To see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Okay then, next up, Downstar. And from there I can walk to my house. Each hole tracks its crime separately. We definitely need better borders then. Hey. My own 
Hallefrost farm outside the city. It's honest work if a bit dull. Oh, I fight dragons and have over 40,000 gold. <laughs> I don't need your fancy work. I hope someday we'll get to know each other better. I'm sorry, what? I <sighs> see why the Nords like Skyrim. This crisp air is wonderful for the lungs. I mean, this horse looks nice. I might as well purchase it, right? You seem like such a nice... It's for sale if you've got the coin. Sure. That's your best offer? I suppose so. She's the one with the saddle. Sometimes the difference between life and death is a swift steep. Nice. Great. Let's hire this guy to go to Dawnstar. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Okay, new rule. If I have a horse, I can fast travel. That's it. Climb and back and we'll be off. But I have to be on the horse before I can fast travel. Get up there. These are the rules, I don't make them. Actually, I do. Because I'm the law. Good horse. Hello. Beetle thinks I drink on the job. Have a drink on me. Ale or mead? Yeah. Until next time. Right. Let's go inside the inn, sleep there because we are so far from our house. Nice dress. Oh, do you need a sure thing? It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Well, it's not this one, so it's the other one. Right, before we do that, let's read a book. Where were we? The hypothetical theory. I mean treachery. A one act play. A High Elf Battle Mage, Dark Elf Battle Mage, Serial Healer, An Argonian Barbarian, A Ghost, Some Bandits, okay. Eldenwood. As the curtain rises, we all see the misty labyrinthian landscape of the legendary Elder Grove of Veilwood. All around we hear wolves howling, a bloodied reptilian figure, Scravis, breaks through the branches of one of the trees and surveys the area. It's clear. Insulia, a beautiful dark elf mage, climbs down from the tree, helped by the barbarian. There is a sound of footsteps nearby. Shorivas re readies his sword, and Inzola prepares to cast a spell. Nothing comes out. You're bleeding. You should have delicious heal your wounds. He is still drained from all the spells he had to cast down in the caves. I'm fine. If we get out of this and no one needs it, uh, needs it more, I'll take the last potion of healing. Where's Malvasian? A high elf battle mage and Delucius, a Cyrodiil healer, emerge from the trees, carrying a heavy chest between the two of them. They awkwardly try to get down from the tree, carrying their loot. Here I am. Though why I'm carrying the heavy load is beyond me, I always thought that the advantage of dungeon dwelling with the great barbarian was that he carried all the loot. If I carried that, my hands would get too full of fight. And tell me, if I'm wrong, but not one of the three you has enough magical reserves to make out and uh, to make it out of here alive. Okay, to make it out of here alive. Not after you've electrified and blasted all those homunculus down below the ground. Homunculi. Don't worry, I'm not going to do what you think. I'm going to do innocently. What's that? Q. 
Kyouo and take the ebony mail for myself, admit it, you thought I had that in mind. What a perfectly horrible thought, I never thought anyone, no matter how vile and degenerate, why not? He needs porter, uh, he needs porters, like he said. He can carry the chest and fight off the inhabitants of the Elder Grove boat, by standard of all the main, confining typically Argonian. And why do you need me alive? I don't necessarily, except that you're prettier than the other two, for a smooth skin, that is. And if something comes up after, uh, after us, it might go for you first. There is a noise in some bushes nearby. Go check that out. It's probably a wolf. These woods are filled with them. You check it out. You have a choice, Leothea. In Zolia. Okay, you have a choice in Zolia. Go and you might live. Stay here and you definitely won't. In Zolia considers and then goes to the bushes. To Malvisian and Doketis. The king of Silvernar will pay good money for the mail, and we can divide it more nicely between three than four. You're so right, Isolia. Suddenly, Levitius up on the top of the stage. A semi-transparent ghost appears from the bush and rushes to the next person, who happens to, sh uh, to be Shivalas. As the barbarian screams and rushes in the with its sword, it leaves blasted of wearing gas at him. He crumbles to the ground. It turns next to Delicius. The hewer, and as the ghost focuses its feast chill on the helpless Delucius, Malavisia casts a bow of flame at it and causes it to vaporize into mist air. Isulia floats like down on the ground as Maluvius examines the bodies of Delucius and Scavias, who are both white faced from the draining power of the coast. Novasian, you had more magical reserve after all, so did you. Are they dead? Malvisia takes the potion of healing from the Lucius pack. Yes, fortunately, the potion of healing wasn't broken when he fell. Well, I guess this leaves just the two of us to collect the reward. We can't get out of this place without each other, like it or not. The two battle mages pick up the chest and begin plodding carefully through the underground plush from the time to time at all sounds of footsteps of other eerie noises. Let me make sure I understand. You have a little bit of magicka left, so you elected to use it to make Scalivius the ghost's target, forcing me to use most of my limited reserves to destroy the creature, so I wouldn't be more powerful than you. That's first rate thinking. Thank you. It's only logical. Do you have enough power to cast any other spells? Naturally, an experienced battle mage always knows a few minor but highly effective spells for just such a trial. I think it I take it you too have a few tricks up your sleeves, of course, like you said. They pause for a moment before continuing as a fearful wail precious the, precious the air. When it dies away, they slowly trudge uh, trudge on. Just as an intellectual exercise, I wonder what spell would you cast on me if we made it out of here without any more combat? I hope you're not implying that I would dream of killing you so I would keep the treasure all for myself. Of course not, nor would I do that to you. It is merely an intellectual exercise. Well, in that case, purely as an intellectual exercise, it would probably cast a leech spell on you to take away your life force and heal myself. After all, there are, bright, uh, there are brigands on the road between here and Silvernan, and the wounded battle mage with a voluble artifact would make a temper over tempting target. I'd hate to survive Elder Grove merely to die in the open. That's a well-reasoned response. As for myself again, not saying I would ever do this, but I think a simple sudden electrical boat would serve me purposes admirably. I agree about the danger of brigands, but I don't forget, we also have a potion of healing. I could easily slay you and heal myself to full capacity. Very true. It would end up question that whole spell was more effective at that instant. If our spells counteract one another and I leech your life energy only to be crippled by your lightning bolt, then we could both be killed, or so near death that the mere potion of healing would certainly help each, uh, each of us. Let alone both. How ironic it would be if two scheming battle mages, not saying we are scheming, but for the purpose of this intellectual exercise, were left on the brink of death. This is indeed a very boring conversation those two are having. 
completely drained of magicka with one healing potion to choose from, who would it get it then? Logically, whoever drank it first, which is the cause, would be you, since you're holding it. Now, what is one of us were injured, but not killed? Logic dictates that the scheming battle mage would take the potion, leaving the injured party to the mercy of the elements, I suppose. That does seem more sensible, but suppose that the battle mage, while uh, certainly scheming types, had a certain respect for one another. Perhaps in that case, the victorious one might, for instance, put the potion up to three near his or her gravely wounded victim, that when the wounded party had enough magic to replenish, he or she would be able to levitate on the tree branches and recover the potion. By that time, the victorious battle mage would have already collected the reward. They pause for a moment, at the sound of something in the bushes nearby. Carefully, they climb across the trenches of a tree to bypass it. I understand what you're saying, but it seems of a character for the, for the hypothetic scheming battle mage to allow his or her victim to live. Perhaps, but it has been my observation that most scheming battle mages enjoy the fling of having bested someone in combat, and having that person alive to live with the humiliation. These hypothetical scheming battle mages sound exactly. Daylight, do you see it? Oh, excitingly. Okay. The two scurry across the branch, dropping behind the bush so we can no longer see them. We can, however, see the shimmering halo of sunlight behind the tow bush. We made it, likewise, away in the tow bush, indeed. There is a sudden explosion of electrical energy and a world holding aura of red light, and then silence. After a few moments' pause, we hear someone climbing up the tree. It's Malavisia, putting the potion high up in the bottle. He crackles at the climbing back, down and the curtain drops. Epilogue. The curtain rises on the road to Silveran. A gang of bandits have surrounded Malavisian, who is propped up his staff, barely able to stand. They put his chest away for him with ease. What have we got here? Don't you know? It ain't safe to be out here the road. All sick like you are. Why don't we help you with that load? Please, let me be. Go on, spellcaster. Fight us for it. I can't. Too weak. Suddenly, Isola flies the casting lightning bolt from her fingers at the bandits, who quickly scramble away. She leads on the ground and picks up the chest. Malavisia collapses, dying. Hypothetically, what if a battle mage casts a spell on another which didn't harm him at once, but drained his life force and his magicka bit by bit, so he wouldn't know at that time, but feel confident enough to leave the potion of healing behind? A most treacherous battle mage she'd be, and, hypothetically, would she be likely to help her fallen foe so that she could enjoy the humiliation of him continuing to live? From my experience, Hypothetically, no. She doesn't sound like a fool. As Isolde lungs the chest off towards Silvana, the Meselvian expires and the stage we drop the curtain. Okay. Hypothetical treachery. That place sounds anything. incredibly dull. And so we sleep for the next eight hours. This is where I'm going to end the episode. Thank you all for joining me, and I'm going to see you all next time. Goodbye.